off-market property. What does it mean and is it right for you? We'll watch the full video and we'll discuss it, but the upshot is if you've been struggling, it could be the way to go, but you need to know exactly what you want, you need to be involved with your local agent and you need to be prepared to take quick action. Now watch the full video as we discuss what it means and how you can do it. What about off-market deals? So, you know, we talk about it all the time. Can someone sort of explain what do we mean by an off-market deal? Yes, James. So the off-market property actually is very simple. It's the property doesn't go to auction and it doesn't rely on an advertising campaign, but are using the agent's database of professional networks. Those kind of the property for sale, we calling the off-market property. Okay, so effectively, um, you know, you might be able to get a deal before it actually goes and, and it casts a thousand see it. So, um, you know, for the first home buyers or just anyone out there that wants to try and capitalize on this idea of an off-market deal, what, um, have you got any sort of tips that you can, you can give to our listeners as to how they can best position themselves to, to capitalize on these off-market deals um, that might materialize over the, the Christmas break and, and into the new year? Yes, I do, James. So it's off the market deal. Actually, um, I personally have the many off the market sales, and I've thought I think is is really good opportunity for both sellers and the buyers. But it could be very fast, and so there is some tips for the buyers and the sellers. You need to think about it before you considering the off the property off the market property. So for the buyers, I've got the five tips for them. So tip All number right, one, with us. yeah. So tip number one is very important to find and have a close contact with the agent who dealing the target area and the uh, property type you are looking for. So this is very important. And especially you're looking for those agents who have a good size on the market share and that they used um, have some success experience on the off the market property. So they might have uh, the channel to have the property you might looking for, which is off the market. Uh, so the tip number two is give the agent the idea what it, exactly you're looking for, the property type and uh, your budget, any specific requirement of the property you are looking. So make it clear in that case, if the agent has the off the property comes out, they can let you know, then you can find the property you're really looking. Um, the tip number three is um, be informed and be able to inspect the, the home at very short notice. This also means you need to have your finance and uh, the, the legal adv uh, advisor ready. Um, so if have your finance ready will be very helpful for your you'll make your decision quickly because off the market property always comes out and you need to make faster decision. Uh, so the number four tips, this is very important. Um, it's just make sure your agent has the sales authority from the vendor. Uh, why this is very important because the off the market property sometimes is, is, is transparent. So it might be the, the vendor is not really fully commitment for sale. So in that case, just make sure your agent has the fully authorized from the vendor to selling the property. Um, the last tips um, is maybe doing some job, doing some research before you um, make offer or you sign a contract on the off the property, uh, off the market property. So this is kind of, um, go have a look online, see the similar property, how much they're selling for, and also the comparable sales in the recent um, period, just to make sure you don't overpay the property and uh, just uh, paying the fair value of the property you're looking. Because sometimes the off the property, the process is very fast and short, and you need to make quick decision. Um, so that's the pretty much the five tips for the buyers and who are looking for the off the off off market property, um, and also for the sellers, and also have the uh, tips for them. This is only one tips: is find an agent. Choose an agent is more specialized on the off the market property sale. 
have well knowledge and experience and also the good reputation like us. <laughs> That's <laughs> I the like key that. points. Good. Yeah. All right. So anyone that didn't quite get that, as far as it goes for buyers, what Jack said, really, really simple. I'm, I'll just sum it up for you. Is you've got to be in contact with the local agents because they're not going to present off-market deals to you if they don't know that you are in the market ready to go. And if you are looking at these opportunities, you've got to be prepared to go fast because typically what a lot of agents will do is in order to get the sellers committed to the listing, they'll say, listen, before you pay the advertising and the marketing dollars and auction fees and everything that comes with it, sign the authority. Let me take it to my database. I've got a qualified list of five, six, seven uh, buyers that just missed out in the last deal. Let me take it straight to them and see if I can do a quick deal. Now, if that doesn't go ahead or you don't move quick enough, then they'll obviously go to the full campaign. So if you do get presented with one of these opportunities, don't rush and make the wrong choice, but you've got to be prepared to move quickly. So as Jack said, research, be organized, have your finance in place, know what you're looking for so you can quickly say, yep, this is good, this is a good deal and be prepared to move on it quickly.